in our earlier video we have gone through the sql transformations and the type uh, and the database properties uh, and the static uh, sql queries that we ca that uh, how we can use in sql transformation now uh, we will see dynamic sql queries in our sql transformation as we already discussed dynamic sql queries so this uh, sql query statement uh, and the data can change for each and every input row here the integration service prepares the query for each and every input row and then does that query so this is uh, what dynamic uh, sql query and he here we can pass a full uh, query or a partial query to the sql transformation from the input ports to execute uh, part of this dynamic uh, sql queries now we will see a sample example in informatica so here uh, i have prepared few scripts for this uh, example here the script is nothing but uh, i have a product temp table i have created this product temp table in the target database here i have a single uh, column that is del and i have inserted this data into this table delete start from product where uh, product id equal to 101 i have inserted two records with the product id equal to 100 and product id is equal to 101 uh, so the statement is to delete the data from this product table where the id is 101 and 100 so here i have data like this so here uh, i will update 105 to 100, 104 to 101 update product product set product id equal to 100 where product id equal to 105 and similarly equal to 101 where product id is equal to 104 let me run this select statement so here i have two records product id is equal to 100 and 101 in the similarly in product table i have two records uh, i have many records uh, where i have values for 100 and 101 so this is 100 and 100, 101 both I have uh, and in the same table in the same database I have another table so that is a product tem target so uh, this product tem target nothing but if i have any uh, errors or any other things i will insert data into this product temp target table currently i have just null null values in this table if i have any uh, errors from our transformation those errors will be logged into this product temp target table uh, in that way i will create that mapping so if you do not have any errors it, it will log with null values as we do not have any uh, errors so uh, now i will create a mapping for this so finally what we understand is it will delete the data from this product table uh, for 100 and 101 values now we have values okay all these are from target database now uh, already i have these in source and target transformations that is a product temp target from the target database as well as uh, for the source i have product temp from the target database this product temp contains the two delete statements that i have inserted let me show you these two delete statements that i have inserted product temp to i am selecting only product temp and uh, this target table does not have any values now uh, i will create the new mapping number score dynamic sql plan uh, 
uh, I will take the source from sources protem so here for the port is here the precision is 0 uh, it should be around some 100 ok now I will create SQL transformation m underscore SQL underscore tran it is a query mode and the SQL server database and the remaining properties are same now I will drag this to this transformation the del as an input and under the del output is an output variable the SQL error is for any errors here to configure this we need to use a statement with input parameter and the same operator here this uh, del input port tab creates a new port and so whatever the tilt indicates it's a variable substitution for the query means the tilt operator completely both uh, in the beginning and the end will be substituted with the query that is there in the input port that del ok and here uh, we don't need any output as directly we are using SQL statements in the input as an input and that each and every input flow as a SQL statement that will be executed so directly we can connect this SQL error to the output target now whatever the target I have in the targets I am taking into this mapping designer and I will map error output to this target I am saving this mapping I will create a session for this in the task create a new session the name s underscore m underscore dynamic sql tran dynamic sql tran I am associating to this our mapping and I will change the database connections to target database whatever the database that I have taken currently it is pointed to the source database but it should be the target uh, our SQL transformation uh, directly we are writing the query and that is that should be executed in the target database so I will take it as a target database so these two uh, again uh, the source and target both are target okay. I am saving this session now I will create a workflow for this workflows create a new workflow w underscore dynamic sql I will take this session to here and I will link these two with line task I am saving this workflow now I am running this so before running I will show you the data again in product table we have records for one hundred and one at one product ID with our statement we are deleting the records with hundred and one at one from the product table I am executing this workflow I am running this workflow in the workflow monitor we can observe this dynamic SQL succeeded we can see the session log for the details so protem target to rows got affected and affected source load summary two rows in the source we have two rows for those two in the target two records got inserted that two as we do not have any error that will be loaded with null or if you have any error that will be loaded with some values so already in the source you have two nulls now again two nulls got inserted means uh, the query got succeeded from the product table product ID 100 and 1 at 1 got deleted let me see the data see we do not have any product IDs with 100 and 1 at 1 all those 
all six rows got deleted so this is uh, how we can prepare a dynamic sql here this dynamic sql is nothing but a sql uh, that we are taking from the source for each and every input record and we are executing that sql script as it is by using the tilde operators in the sql transformation properties now we'll see partial dynamic sql this partial dynamic sql is nothing but uh, i will pass some substring from the source and i will form a query with that substring and execute it here from the sql i will pass the table name now i'm forming the sql as a del where product id equal to 1 or 2 so i'm updating the temp table with product here i have two records uh let me delete one record or else no problem even if you have two records in the source with the same product for each and every product uh, it will try to delete the one or two record i am replacing this in our mapping input is a del again same i am saving this so before executing this mapping let me see the data in the product table for the values 1 or 2 now we have data for 1 or 2 three records uh, i am i will refresh this session now i will execute this workflow it got succeeded now see the data in the table so product id 1 or 2 got deleted here just we pass the table name as an input parameter as partial or dynamic parameter to the sql transformation and deleted the data with the product id earlier we have three records for 1 or 2 that three got deleted so this del will be replaced with the input input parameter of the nothing but our input record of product temp table that is product that will be replaced with the product and that table again the statement would become delete from table product where product id is equal 1 or 2 so if i replace it with 1 or 3 in the in the query all records will be deleted from the table because just we have only three i'm saving it and again i will refresh the workflow session and run the workflow uh so the workflow ran successfully we can go to the session log where you can see the number of deleted records so target again two records will be inserted into the null as we have two input input source rows now product table will, will not have any records that is zero and product temp table for each and every operation product temp target table for each and every operation as we have two source records two nulls will be inserted overall we have eight nulls this is how we can implement dynamic sql uh, in our sql transformation thank you